Hey, good afternoon. It's Jim from JagFX.com. It is Tuesday, the 5th of May, 2020. Currently 4.48 p.m. local here in Vietnam. This is a look at my 12-hour high probability charts. The new candle's at 4 p.m. This is actually take two on the video. The first one I messed up and had to restart. Um, it took a while for me to get the spreadsheets up to date and bring the charts, tidy up the charts. So hence a little bit delayed reaction. So this is my watch list on the right. Anything you see highlighted in blue is ones I've got trades on. No highlight, no trades, and orange are the ones I'm going to speak about in this video. So this is the high probability chart. Everyone's familiar with it, or most of you should be. We'll start with the CAD yen. Now, like always, you can slow the video down, pause the video, read my notes. You'll see lots of lines, blue trend lines, just things that interest me. Green trend lines, bullish divergence. If you see red trend lines, bearish divergence. My buy trades are designated by blue lines, horizontal and vertical, and sell trades are red lines. Stops are normally a red dotted line. Overall break even, yellow dash line. S1, sequence one. S2, sequence two. So that's where those sequences start, on those lines, on those trades. So, 4 p.m. or just after 4 p.m., I had a look at the MACD Platinum, which is this bottom indicator. Remember with this indicator, I'm looking to buy when it's below the zero level and sell when it's above the zero level. When it comes through the zero level, like it has here on the previous candle, 12 hour candle, and I'm gonna sell from sequence two, and it's in profit, I look to take some action. In this case, I'll close half and put a stop in place just under the entry level. So that's that close 0.1 and stop at 76,125. That gives me that gave me a whopping five dollars and three cents profit, which is being added to the list, and changes my overall break even down to seventy two oh nine five, which is down here somewhere. Don't worry about that too much, because all I do is then wait for a new buy signal to try and clear this sequence one. That's the CAD yen, Swiss franc, Japanese yen. Uh, a little bit late to the charts after I sort of slept in. I was having an afternoon sleep. But there's a new sell signal here. And hang on a sec, I'll just move across a bit so you can see it. New sell signal here, the red dot, red QMP filter dot, which is these red and green dots in the chart. MACD Platinum's above the zero level. So not only is it a, a second hedge sell on sequence one, it's also a new sequence, sequence two, roughly at the same price, pretty close to it. Um, so because it the MACD platinum's above the zero level. My overall break even is 106.213, which is way down here somewhere. Don't worry about that too much. What I'm trying to do is make some pips out of this new sequence too. Then once the MACD rolls over and comes down here, it'll give me a buy signal somewhere, and then I'll clear this other sequence. So that's the plan. So new two new trades on the same candle. Uh, they were down here, I was sort of, as I was a bit late to the charts, but then it's gone against me, which is the usual story. Euro Aussie, what happened here? Oh yeah, my cell, what is it? S3, which was somewhere. <laughs> Hang on a sec, oh, buy remaining stopped out. So yeah, this buy here was a, a cell, a third sequence. Uh, it had gone up and the MACD platinum gone through the zero level. And as you can see, Price has rolled over and come down, so I can remove that stop level. That's no longer valid. That so uh, just cleared a few trades there. Oh, one trade that gave me two dollars and six cents profit, and that's all been added to the list here. So I've just got the two sequences on now. And again, you can read my notes. A bit all over the shop these notes. I don't know why. So that's the that was just a stop out on a buy trade from this area here. Overall profit on that little buy trade. Just get not getting much traction on some of these trades. Um, Euro CAD, buy oh, remaining stopped out. Yep, yeah, same deal. Buy trade here. This is pretty much what happened on the Euro Aussie. It's a buy trade. Went up and it's rolled over. I managed to close out half. Then it's come down, hit through my stop, and that was another two dollars and six cents, which has been added to that. So those trades are no longer in play. Let's get the trades gone. I just leave the lines on the chart to show you where they were. Uh, I didn't delete the Aussie, Euro Aussie, because they're in trades with, um, they're part of other sequences. 
So now I'm starting to draw trend lines in place, shred trend lines, looking for possible diversions there for a sell trade. It's close to it, but not yet. So zero CAD, and now that see that will be changed to a unflag. Right, moving right along, Euro Pound. Let's have a look. Yep, second sell trade taken. So we have a sell here. See the MACD platinum's above the zero level. Then it went against us. We had a buy, so I took a hedge buy. And now we've got a new sell signal, and I've taken a sell, third sell, or second sell, third trade, second sell. And overall break evens this yellow dash line down here, eight. 69060 point. So MACD platinum's above the zero levels. The only concern is this blue trend line. It's, um, as you can see, it's a, a, a fairly significant um, support level there. So I really need price to break through that convincingly, even though my overall break even is just above it. It's all a bit tight with the euro pound at the moment. Euro yen. Another remaining buy that was stopped out. So I was in a buy here, gone up. I'd already closed half, and it's just fallen away and taken out the buy. And uh, that's that was a um, that's the only reason I leave the line. So I'll show you where the buy was taken out, the stop signal, and that gave us a whopping total of three dollars and forty four. And that's been added to the list in a sell here, looking all right. MACD platinum still above the zero level. No need to take any action yet. Ideally, you want to see it break this low here. Euro USD, another one of these ones. Buy, gone up nicely, closed half, and just rolled over, taking out my stop on the buy. Uh, what was that? That was another whopping $1.12. <laughs> so, but they're only on the second half of the trade. I made a couple of dollars on the first half, but um, so I don't, <laughs> I know it doesn't sound like much. Well, it's not much because they're just not getting any traction on some of these trades. But as you can see, we're still in it now in a sell trade, and it's in profit. And as long as the MACD platinum's above the zero level, so not taking any action as yet. And again, I'd like to see these lows get taken out. That's the Euro USD. Nice little double top on that. I nearly called that another group, and I changed my mind. I wish I had now. Ah, uh, moving right along. USD Swiss franc. Here we go again. Sell here. Did it around. Dropped nicely. Managed to close out half. Oh yeah. Did. Oh no, that's right. Close out half. Done the exact opposite of the Euro USD, taking my stop out on the sell. So the sell's no longer in play. And again, it was one of those massive um, totals of $1.53 on the second half. Keep in mind, I made some money on the first half. And I was a little bit late to the entry on a new buy. Uh, as you can see, it's picked the high just about. Should have got in a couple of pips below, no big deal. So nice support, um, nice support level here. Probably draw this one across. Hopefully this get broken. This one and sort of stuck in a bit of a range, isn't it? And that's why I'm not getting much going here. So, so we'll just try to get a few pips out the buy. It's not a great setup, but it's a valid setup all the same. So now we're in a buy, and that total's been updated. So it's a USD Swiss franc. So. All these trades are recorded on the shared spreadsheet through Google Drive. Everyone's got access to that shared spreadsheet. The link to that is in the description of the video, so you're more than welcome to check that out. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. It's a bit of, a bit messy today. There's a lot of stopouts on those um, little second parts of the trades and that, but no big deal. And hopefully we'll just get some action soon. The Aussie interest rate news is a bit of a fizzer, even. No, no change as expected, but even the the talking head speech after the event didn't really do much either. So if you'd like these videos, guys, please hit the subscribe button. If nothing else, hit the like button, and I will chat probably tomorrow sometime. Cheers.